Good morning. Today's project is really different from the usual project. We have cypress floors in the house and I have been so careful. We take our shoes off. We're careful not to drop things on the floor. Cypress is actually softer than pine. And so I have some dings in the floor. Part of it, I found out I was doing myself. I thought I was being so careful by using a step ladder to access what's on top of this closet here. And I just realized that these little round bits are worn off. And so all the circles I've been seeing on my floor are directly my own responsibility. So what I've got is I have a new steam iron that I got pretty recently that does phenomenal but I also have a cloth that's damp and what I'm going to do as soon as this heats up is I'm going to be steaming these dings out of my floor if you do it quickly enough this actually works pretty well my iron's still on standby this is the per steam I had no idea the new irons are this great I had no idea they have all these settings I didn't know that you can have a burst of water come out of the front of them so you don't have to have a little um, spray bottle with you but I'm just waiting for this one to heat up and it's still on standby nine for linen eight for jeans seven for cotton six for wool five for blends four for poly three for silk two for nylon and one for acrylic I think I'll go to four for poly start there oh good and what's going to happen here is the iron emits steam from the bottom plus I've got a damp cloth here and the damp cloth is going to protect the floor you kind of have to watch it you don't want to burn your floor but you can definitely pull if you work on it pretty quickly after you've done it you can pull the dents out of your floor which is what I'm really hoping to do here. Of course, now that I'm down here, I see more, see more dents than I realize. The worst of them are right here. And man, they look so bad. Move this out of the way. I can't believe after I'm this careful with the floor that I'm the one who put the dents into it. Okay, they're coming up a little bit. They're not completely gone, but they are definitely lessening. So I'm just gonna squeeze the button, give the little extra steam, and see if I can steam them up. I probably won't be able to completely get rid of the nicks. But the wood is soft. Oh, uh, yeah. Definitely pulling it up. So that's my that's my goal for today. <laughs> get these marks out of the floor. This iron is so awesome that it's telling me to wait. It's not ready for me to steam anything. But even if I feel like my cloth is getting too dry, I can hit the button there and put some moisture on it while I'm waiting for the steam part to be ready. It's still warm, it's just not ready for me to hit the steam button. It's gotta boil that water. It took me a little bit to get used to that the water's right here and you kind of hear it bubbling. This was one of the spots that was the worst. So I'm really interested in getting these dents out of here. It's better. They're not gone, but it's 
it's far better. It's a lot easier if you just have one spot that you can concentrate on, but I've got some deep ones here. I'm going to keep working on them. All right, I'm going to attempt to see if I can show you just how deep these marks are in my floor. They're pretty bad, and so I'm going to put cloth over it, and I know that they're right there. My iron is now saying it's ready, and let's see if we can reduce. I might turn it up one to blend. See if we can reduce the look of those. Boy, I can't believe I'm the one who's been making the marks on the floor. Somehow I thought it was the vacuum cleaner doing it. Maybe the end of the hose or something. But no. Oh, I've been forgetting to squeeze the steam button. The reason you use a damp cloth is so that you're actually steaming the wood. But I have the added bonus of this iron. Oh, it's telling me to wait. This iron is also a steamer. And so I kind of get double, double steam. All right, let's see. Now look at that. It's a little bit not as bad. I think I'll have to go over it one more time, but they've definitely, definitely come up. Not as bad as they were. Not gone, but better. Better is good. I think it's been about a month that I've been doing this, and I just realized that that's what was happening to the floor here. And because I didn't realize it, I kind of missed the opportunity to get them completely out. But I can still try. Slow down, it says. Most high tech iron you've ever seen. It's a per steam. I just got it about a month ago. It used to take me three to four minutes to iron a shirt. Now it takes me two minutes because I don't have to keep a little bottle full of water. All right, let's see. It's better. They're not gone, but it's better. Far better. Yep. That might be as good as I'm going to get it on those. I'm going to keep working on all the rest of these. There's some here. This is cypress. It's very soft. There's some here. I'm just going to keep working on. Oh gosh, look at these. Yeah. Just going to keep working on them and hope, hope I get most of it out. All right. I have been over and over the floor. I've gotten these sort of out. I've got these kind of out. I worked on the ones back here and it's looking a little bit better I'm not feeling as bad about it one of the deep ones popped up a pretty good amount but it I can still see it but at least at least I gave it a good shot and got got a lot of it out um, the next time the floor gets sanded five or ten years from now that will all be taken care of but in the meantime if you drop something heavy and make a big dent that's one thing you can do is steam it out just maybe test it out in the back of a closet in case your finish can't tolerate the heat um, this one has no trouble with it so it works okay okay that's it <laughs> no special equipment needed <laughs> thanks for watching I hope you found this useful if you ding your floor Get on it real quick with the with the iron and steam those marks out of it. Thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe. Bye.